Wadi Shab or Valley of Shab is the oasis located at the bottom of the mountain and contains of three lakes and secret cave with a small waterfall in it. Today I will take you on a trip to that cave. Guys, we finally made it to Wadi Shab. Stas, how was the trip from Sur? Easy, Sur City? super easy. Only one hour, 20 minutes. Oh. One hour, 20 minute distance, guys, and we are here going to start our journey in Wadi Shab. We finally find out what is Wadi means in Arabic. It's actually translates basically as a wally. So guys, we're gonna enjoy our kind of hike in a wally of Oman called Wadi Shab, guys. The Wadi translates from Arabic as a wally and it's one of the most popular among all wadis in Oman located 169 kilometers to the east from Muscat. Лодка стоит 1 real. Ну да, я знаю. И типа в две стороны последняя лодка в 5:30 обратно. В 5:30? Да. И сказал, что до первого поинта, где мы можем свими все дела, 45 минут идти. Once you reach the wadi parking, you can leave your car and don't worry about it. Place full of people such as the local Omani and the tourists. Here you'll be able to meet some wild goats and it's literally a start point of our Wadi Shab hike. So this is the basically starting point to experience our Wadi Shab journey. So we're gonna take a boat over here for one real just to go over this river somewhere up to there to the starting point to the hike and then we can just walk through this cliffs and enjoy everything you know we paid one real for the boat ride across the river so we can start our trip from opposite shore maybe yeah. private boat yeah only for three of us nice so guys now we just got a boat ride so we got a boat ride for one real guys and just going to the to the starting point yeah yeah from here and all the way to the first lake will take about 30 minutes walk up and down on slope of the mountain. The scenery over here is fantastic. I haven't seen anything similar to this in my entire life. The view is captivating. And be focused and watch out because some path of the hike leads on the edge of the cliffs. One of the first things I noticed about the body was how green it was. It's very unique and beautiful landscape. All the water you see here flowing from top of the mountain when heavy rain's done and the water here looks very inviting. Some parts of the lakes is so deep and in general water is very refreshing after such a long hike. So beautiful. Once you swim till the end of the first pool, you will enter the second and in this point you will see the hidden entrance leading to the cave. So guys, right now I'm just exploring uh, Wadi Shab. So basically, here is a three section of Wadi Shab, three main basins. So the first, let's say, swimming pool I just passed and now I'm just walking to the second one and in the end of this valley, there is a hidden cave. That's it, this only cave and I know it's so gorgeous. So this is what I was talking about guys, this is the only way to get into the cave. Look at it, fucking hell. This is only a place for your head. I done it, guys! I done it! I passed through. Wow! This is unbelievable. The Wadi Shab Cave is the last viewing pool. Here you can climb up and jump into the water. Woohoo! 
don't rush to leave the cave and Wadi Shab. Enjoy every single minute there. Believe me, once you are here, you won't leave it. Another 30 minutes back to the car and we are ready to go to get marked another point on the map. Get out of your comfort zone and start exploring the world. If you still was here, please click subscribe button and share this video with your family and friends. A lot of content has yet to come. Ciao!